Hi, Emily. Hi. All right, this is Emily. Hey. Emily, today we're going to read a new book. It's one you haven't seen before at all. And it has a word in the title that you've already seen in the book that we just read. What is this word? We, yes, we just read it in the book that we warmed up with, didn't we? And you, how did you know that was monster in the other book? I just remembered. Yeah, and well, how did you figure out what it was in the other book? What did you have to do? Sound it out. Sound it out, and then you figured it was monster. Very good. All right. Today's story is called a monster sandwich. Have you? Ever made a sandwich yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did you put in it? Lettuce, ham, and salami. Oh, that sounds delicious. How big was your sandwich? Um, about that big. Oh my goodness! Really? Yeah. Wow! Like a big sudden sandwich. Okay. So you've made sandwiches before. And I put in it, and it was that big, but I put in a lot of bread on it. Okay, a lot of bread. Would you have called it a monster sandwich, maybe? Because it was so big? No. A ginormous sandwich? Yes. Yeah, or a great big super sandwich? <laughs> well, today's silly story is called a monster sandwich. Okay, a monster sandwich. Look at all the things in here. Do you think these are things that they might put in their sandwich? Yeah. What are they? Let's take a Can you tell me what they are? Salt. Salt. Pepper, yeah. Tomatoes, bread, lettuce, cheese, butter, yeah. salami, and what's the green stuff called again? Pickles. Oh. Pickles. What? Do you think this would be a good sandwich if you put those things on it? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's read and find out what they put on your sandwich. Can you point to the words as you read for me? Uh, monster sandwich. Very good. Nice big voice. Put... some lettuce on it. Put some cheese on it. some pickles on it. Put some What can we what can we use to figure it out? What did we talk sound about? Out. We sound it out. We could try that. That's also a tricky word to sound out. Can we also look at, what else can we do? Look at the pixels. Okay, what does this look like to you? That you would put on a sandwich. I don't know. Hmm. What's red that sometimes we put on a sandwich? Think of anything? I know it, but I can't. Okay. Well, let's. If we can't figure it out from the picture, let's go back and try and sound it out, like you said. All right. Ah. Mm. Mm. Uh. What sound does the A make? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. You got the F for the E, and then the last sound. T. Okay. Mm. Now in this. Ah. Uh. Uh. Emily. Uh. In this word, this is a crazy thing about our language in English. This word, the E-A makes the E sound, the long E sound. So we'll, we'll work on that more later. I was hoping you'd be able to figure it out from the picture and from the what you already know. Let's take a look. So this is, it rhymes with eat. What would you put on meat. a sandwich? Yes, very good. <laughs> and how can you tell that's meat? Because you said it. Well, I told you what it rang with, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job. So read that page again. Shall we start there? Put some meat on it. Very good, Emily. Put some salt on it. 
Okay, Emily, take a look at that page. Point to the words you just read. Okay, and you said salt. There is salt in the picture. Is that why you said that? Mm -hmm. Does this, what sound does salt begin with? Yeah, what letter makes that s sound? What letter? Tomato. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I what, tell me. Let's back up. What's that is right, Emily. That word is tomatoes. The how do you know? Um, how did you know this was tomatoes? I just saw tomatoes. You there. saw tomatoes, and then look at the word. Does this look like it begins like salt? <laughs> hmm? How does salt begin? S. S. And what is this, and what is the sound at the end of the salt? Salt. T. T. Is that a T? No. No. no the T at the beginning <laughs> and the S at the end. Very good. <laughs> you are uh, perfect with that. You've got that right. You're a good investigator on this, aren't you? All right. So it's not. So it's not salt. But you guessed it right. You looked at the pictures. And if you look at the word, you can figure it out. See if you can keep going. Put some bread on it. Very good. That's a hard one to sound out too. It rhymes with how. What would that be? Now. Now. Very good. Now time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, it's got an A in it. T. A. A. Here we've got a long sound. Take. 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 Uh, now take, take a bite. Yum. Yum. Excellent. Nicely done. Did you like that one? Yeah. Do you think the girl likes her sandwich? Yeah. How can you tell? She's eating. She's eating it. And what in the words in the story told you that she likes it? Yum, yum. Yeah, very good. Do you think you would like that sandwich? You would? Is that everything you would put on your sandwich? What kinds of things did she put on her sandwich? You can look in the Lettuce. book. Lettuce. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and something I put in my sandwich also was mustard. Oh, There's in yours? and ham. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what this word is that we read? Mm -hmm. It rhymes with feet. Meat. Yes, very good. All right, good job, dear. You did wonderful. I'm proud of you. Okay, stop there.